and to map the uh, intercontinental uh, Lhasa Paradise in Tibet, China. And this is a Superior Suite 2028. And it is actually, actually pretty, pretty nice and very high ceilings as well. And I do like these chandeliers that they have here. Um, here we have a, by the way, that's the, that's the guest bathroom. Um, and this is a, like a closet for outdoor clothes for guests. Um, and actually, I have to say, this is, this is um, one of the bigger suites that I have at late, lately. I'm going to have my work, work set up here. Um, here's the sitting area. Some fruits as a welcome amenity. Sofa, here we have a TV. And of course, another chandelier over there. And it seems that we have a, um, I guess that's some kind of fake, fake fireplace. And their, I would say their um, AC unit is actually quite, quite interesting. It's, um, it's cold outside, it's a little bit too hot here for me. So let's just turn it, turn it on. So I get a little bit cooler air. And here we have the mini bar, which is actually quite basic. So there's a couple of uh, tea and coffee, glassware. And here's the mini bar itself, complimentary for real ambassadors, but hardly anything, unfortunately. But uh, I'm fine with that. And here we have the bedroom. I got extremely high ceilings for a for a hotel. And of course, here's another TV. One of these AC units, work desk, uh, chair, another fake fireplace, uh, and a uh, yeah, very comfortable looking bed. And there's a um, walk-in closet over here with in-room safe. And uh, here's the bathroom, jacuzzi, and. Uh, Here's the sink, water, and I do like the fact that they have the uh, Ferragamo line of uh, bathroom and it is over here instead of the um, usual uh, stuff that they have at the Intercontinental Hotels. And here's the shower. This is, by the way, a little bit weird setup. You would imagine they would have a saw head over there, but they don't. And more Ferragamo, and they had the rather Rather basic toilet over here. Of course, we do have the powering arrow here. Um, and by the way, um, I was just at the same reason for five nights, and I figured out they have something here that they didn't have over there. So you can actually press this, and I guess that I can hear it's it's that's putting more oxygen in the air because. Um, if you didn't know, the uh, Lhasa is actually at the 12,000 feet, which is roughly four kilometers, and you will most likely get an altitude sickness over here, which basically feels like you have a hangover. Um, there's somebody like, I, I, I had it, I had it when I was here first time, I had it this time as well, and it takes a couple of days to get used to the fact that there's a little bit less oxygen in the air than at the sea level. And the location of this is actually east of the city center. This is a little bit like a new area of, of Lhasa. Um, so you basically need a taxi if you want to go anywhere. Um, the new university is very close by and they have, they have some ex exhibition place here as well. So again, this is the uh, intercontinental Lhasa paradise, Lhasa Tibet, and this was a superior suite 2028. And I love the fresh flower, I mean real flower that they have over there, oh actually, instead of fake one.